Sorting recyclables along a conveyor belt Tuesday, load operator Tony Miranda spotted something out of the ordinary heading his way. It was just surrounded by a bunch of debris and material. I mean, it was hard to see it, but I spotted it really quick. Barely the size of his hand. So tiny. This little kitten almost didn't make it. It's a lucky cat. Next stop on the line, spinning metal blades and a compactor. And it just spins really fast. I mean, it could have really died in there. Over the radio, I heard them say that they found a live cat. And I was curious because, uh, I mean, that's just amazing. Shift supervisor Heather Garcia headed Tony's way and soon found a maternal longing coming over her. It's just so cute. I mean, why wouldn't she take it home? <laughs> Garcia claimed her as her own, naming the kitten after the material recovery facility, or MRF, where Tony found her. We chose to name her Murphy because she's found here on the MRF. Murphy had already been through a lot before she got rescued, heading up this conveyor belt, dropping down, and then heading down this one where she met Tony. It's just amazing to see a little kitty, you know, survive through all this. It made my day today, yeah. yeah it definitely made my day. A veterinarian examined Murphy and says she's in good health. She's probably hungry. Now, with an amazing story of survival, as one person's trash becomes another's tabby. In Galt, Tom Miller, KCRA 3 News.